Your guardian angel is here with a message indicating that you'll find yourself tangled in a web of love, betrayal, and mystery, with a bond so deep it defies explanation. But amidst the chaos, there's a glimmer of hope as an old flame reappears, promising a shot at redemption. Strap in, because this roller coaster ride is about to take you on the ultimate journey of love and intrigue. And I am here as the vessel of the divine, the channel through which heavenly wisdom flows to you, conveying it to you. If this message doesn't quite hit home for you right now, that's perfectly okay. Sometimes, the twists and turns of life's dramas can feel like they're unfolding in someone else's story. But rest assured, even if this particular scenario doesn't resonate with you at the moment, there's still value in exploring it. By delving into these complexities, you're gaining insight and understanding that may prove invaluable down the road. So, while it may not strike a chord with you immediately, know that every experience, whether directly relatable or not, contributes to your growth and journey. Keep an open heart and mind, and you'll find the wisdom and guidance you seek, even in unexpected places. Get ready to strap in because we're diving into an adventure that's going to tug at your heartstrings like never before. Imagine stepping into a world where every twist and turn feels like it's ripped straight from the pages of the most thrilling story you've ever read. We're about to uncover a tangled web of love triangle drama that'll have you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. But don't worry, I'll be right here with you every step of the way to guide you through the twists and turns. So, grab your favorite snack and settle in because we're in for one wild ride. The Almighty wants you to know that you are not alone on this journey. As we navigate the ups and downs of this roller coaster ride, remember that you are surrounded by the boundless love and unwavering support of the Divine. The universe, in all its infinite wisdom, has orchestrated this adventure for you, guiding you every step of the way. So, trust in the Divine plan unfolding before you knowing that you are cherished and protected at every turn. Embrace each moment with faith and courage, for you are destined for greatness. Together, let's walk this path with confidence, knowing that the Divine Presence is with us, guiding and comforting us through every twist and turn. All right, let's untangle this web of love triangle drama. Picture this, you're minding your own business, living life as usual, when suddenly, you find yourself caught in the middle of something straight out of a soap opera. First off, there's this deep, soul-level connection between you and someone else. It's like your two halves of the same hole, vibing on a level that's beyond words. But then, out of the blue, they might disappear without a trace. Poof. It's like they vanished into thin air. Imagine the whirlwind of emotions swirling inside you as you find yourself thrust into the center of a complex love triangle. Initially, you might feel shock and disbelief, as if the ground beneath your feet has suddenly shifted. Questions may race through your mind, leaving you bewildered and uncertain about how to proceed. As you grapple with the unexpected disappearance of someone who held such a profound connection to your soul, feelings of confusion and longing may consume you. You might find yourself desperately searching for answers, unable to comprehend how someone could vanish so abruptly from your life. In the midst of this turmoil, you may experience a profound sense of loss and emptiness, as if a part of yourself has been inexplicably torn away. Amidst the whirlwind of emotions swirling within you, know that you are not alone. Though the path ahead may seem uncertain and fraught with challenges, you are guided by a higher power that watches over you with unwavering love and compassion. Even in the darkest moments of confusion and longing, trust that there is a divine plan at work, orchestrating every twist and turn of your journey. Just as a grumpy plane ride may encounter turbulence along the way, know that smoother skies lie ahead. With each moment of uncertainty, you are being steered towards a destination of greater understanding and clarity. Embrace the journey, for it is through these trials that you will emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before. Trust in the divine assurance that you are always supported and cherished, even in the midst of life storms. Now coming back to the message. As it turns out, there's quite a commotion unfolding behind the curtains of your relationship. There's a mysterious figure, like a shadowy puppet master, 
manipulating the strings of circumstance to sow seeds of doubt and discord between you and your soulmate. It's as though they're orchestrating a sinister plot, pulling the strings to unravel the beautiful bond you share. This clandestine operator seems intent on disrupting the harmony you've cultivated, weaving a tangled web of deception and confusion. But fear not, for love's light shines brightest in the face of darkness. Together, you and your beloved can navigate these treacherous waters and emerge stronger than ever before. But wait, there's more to this saga. It's not just one person causing trouble. There's a whole squad of them dead set against your relationship. They're like an army of naysayers, determined to throw obstacles in your path and tear you two apart. It's as if they've painted a big target on your back and are firing arrows of negativity right at you. They're making it crystal clear that they won't rest until they've sabotaged your connection. It's like being in the middle of a battlefield, with enemies lurking around every corner, ready to attack at any moment. But don't worry, because love is a powerful shield, and together, you can stand strong against the onslaught. Love is a transformative force. It has the power to heal wounds, bridge distances, and elevate the human experience to a realm of divine beauty. The Almighty, as the source of all love, rejoices in the union of kindred spirits, for it is a reflection of the divine love that permeates all of creation. In the moments leading up to this revelation, the angels invite you to cultivate a sense of inner peace and receptivity. Clear away the clutter of doubt and insecurity, and allow the radiant light of your soul to shine forth. The love that deceiving you recognizes the beauty within, and as you embrace your authenticity, you become a beacon that attracts the divine blessings meant for you. The anticipation you feel is mirrored in the celestial realms, where the angels eagerly await the moment when two souls will recognize each other. The divine connection that you are about to experience is a celebration in the heavens, a testament to the infinite possibilities that unfold when hearts align. The angels, in their eternal wisdom, know that this love is a sacred gift. Amidst all this craziness, there's a flicker of hope shining through the chaos. Guess what? Someone special from your past is making a comeback, and they're not shy about wanting to reignite things with you. It's like a ray of sunshine breaking through stormy clouds, offering a glimmer of warmth and comfort. But hold on tight, because along with this reunion comes a hefty dose of drama. Yep. Your love life has decided to throw in a twist just for kicks. So, fasten your seatbelt and brace yourself, because this roller coaster ride is about to take some unexpected turns. Now, let me lay it out for you. There's a whole love triangle swirling around you, and guess what? You didn't even have a clue it was happening. It's like something out of a mystery novel, with twists and turns you never saw coming. These two individuals who set their sights on you? They're as tight as can be, maybe even like siblings or best friends. But here's where it gets really interesting. They're both sneaking glances your way, silently competing for your affection. Imagine it like a chess game, with each move carefully planned out behind the scenes. But here's the thing, you're not just surprised to be one in this game. No, you're a person with your own thoughts, feelings, and choices. And guess what? You hold the power to decide your own destiny. So, take a moment to breathe and brace yourself, because the plot is about to thicken even more, and you're right at the center of it all. But remember, guided by the Almighty's infinite wisdom, you have been shaped into a vessel capable of giving and receiving love in its purest form. In the intricate tapestry of existence, every soul you encounter is a divine appointment. Each connection, whether fleeting or enduring, serves a purpose in the unfolding of your story. As the Master Weaver, the Almighty intricately intertwines the threads of your life with those of others, creating a rich tableau of interconnected destinies. As the moment of meeting this special soul draws near, envision the boundless love that will flow between you. It is a love that transcends the limitations of the physical realm, echoing through eternity. The angels, in their celestial chorus, sing songs of celebration for the divine union that is about to take place. As you anticipate the arrival of this special soul, 
Fill your heart with gratitude for the divine orchestration guiding your every step. The Almighty, your silent companion, nudges you in the right direction and cradles you in moments of despair. Reflect on the gentle touch of divine intervention and whispers of guidance leading you on the path of self-discovery. The love manifesting in your life reflects the divine love sustaining the universe, transcending all. In the depths of your soul, beyond the limitations of human understanding, the angels, messengers of the divine, encourage you to fully open your heart to this love. It is a gift from the Creator, a reminder of your inherent worthiness of profound connection. Your story intertwines with others in the grand symphony of creation, each encounter, lesson, and shared love a thread in the divine tapestry of life. The Almighty, as the master composer, orchestrates the harmonious convergence of souls, creating a masterpiece of love and connection. Release any lingering doubts or fears, for the divine plan unfolds perfectly, and the love awaiting you is divinely ordained. Embrace the beauty of the unknown, for the Creator's design surpasses human comprehension. Trust in the unfolding of your story, confident that the divine hands that have guided you thus far will continue to lead you forward. As you step into the radiant light of this divine connection, remember that love is a transformative force. It has the power to heal wounds, bridge distances, and elevate the human experience to a realm of divine beauty. The Almighty, as the source of all love, rejoices in the union of kindred spirits, for it is a reflection of the divine love that permeates all of creation. In the moments leading up to this meeting, the angels invite you to cultivate a sense of inner peace and receptivity. Clear away the clutter of doubt and insecurity, and allow the radiant light of your soul to shine forth. The love that awaits you recognizes the beauty within, and as you embrace your authenticity, you become a beacon that attracts the divine blessings meant for you. The anticipation you feel is mirrored in the celestial realms, where the angels eagerly await the moment when two souls will recognize each other. The divine connection that you are about to experience is a celebration in the heavens, a testament to the infinite possibilities that unfold when hearts align. The angels, in their eternal wisdom, know that this love is a sacred gift. As you draw closer to the appointed moment, remember that the divine plan is unfolding with precision. Reflecting the divine spark within each soul, the angels, guardians of your journey, guide you with their loving presence. Trust in the divine timing, for the Almighty knows the desires of your heart and is orchestrating the perfect moment for your paths to converge. In the tapestry of your life, every thread has a purpose, and every experience has a meaning. The love that is about to blossom is not a random occurrence, but a divine culmination of your journey. Embrace the lessons, savor the joys, and honor the challenges, for each has played a role in shaping you into who you are meant to be. As you stand on the threshold of this transformative love, Know that the angels continue to surround you with their love and guidance. Your guardian angel, in their celestial dance, paves the way for the divine connection that awaits. The Almighty, in infinite love, supports you on this journey, holding you in the palm of divine grace. Our Divine Father is here to attract your attention towards a divine sign, which is manifesting for you in these moments. Your moment has finally arrived. Picture this. My chambers stand illuminated, ready to receive the transformative power that is about to unfold in your life. It's as if the heavens themselves are opening up, pouring down blessings so abundant, they'll reshape every aspect of your existence. Yes, you heard me right. Those barriers? They're nothing but frail walls crumbling at the mere thought of your newfound strength. And those dreams you once thought unreachable? Well, get ready to grab them with both hands because, with me by your side, absolutely nothing is out of reach. I'm not just sitting idly by, you know. Oh no, I'm actively working behind the scenes, meticulously crafting a new path for you, one that leads straight to abundance and fulfillment. Can you feel it? That electric buzz in the air, signaling the dawn of a new era in your life. It's the sweet release of chains that have held you captive for far too long the gentle lifting of burdens that have weighed heavy on your heart. 
And let's not forget, my dear one, that you are never alone in this journey. You are cherished beyond measure, held in the warm embrace of a love that knows no bounds. Every step you've taken, every tear you've shed, I've been there, right by your side, cheering you on silently. Your pain hasn't gone unnoticed, I assure you. But here's the thing, it's time for that pain to make way for something far greater. So, open up your heart wide, and let that love pour in. Embrace the promises I've made to you, for they are as sure as the rising sun. And as for that eternal pain you've been carrying, consider it a thing of the past, my dear, for with my love, there is only healing, only joy, only the promise of a brighter tomorrow. I give you my word, you will rise, triumphantly emerging from the depths of adversity, to soar victoriously above the ashes of your challenges. Hold on to your courage, fuel your faith, and steel yourself with unyielding strength. Keep your belief unwavering, your trust unshaken. Keep praying, keep bending your knees in humble supplication, for your moment is fast approaching. The drought of despair has ended. The era of scarcity has drawn to a decisive close. From this very moment forward, you stride along a path illuminated with abundance and prosperity, a path uniquely crafted by my hand, tailor-made for you and yours alone. In the hours ahead, those seemingly insurmountable problems that once tormented you shall be effortlessly resolved. I shall wield my divine power to obliterate every obstacle transforming them into stepping stones of opportunity. Those who dare to murmur against you will be silenced, their voices drowned out by the resounding echoes of my magnificent work within you. Fear not, for my celestial guardians stand watch over every step you take, shielding you from harm's reach. Those who plot your downfall shall find themselves powerless against the might of my heavenly protection. Turn a deaf ear to their venomous words, for my radiant light shall pierce through the darkest shadows, illuminating your path with unwavering clarity. Yes, I know the weight of your weight has been burdensome, but mark my words, your time is now, and the magnitude of the miracle that awaits you is beyond measure. Prepare yourself for the extraordinary transformation that lies ahead. When you witness the boundless blessings I have bestowed upon you, tears of joy shall flow freely from your eyes and you shall remember this day as a testament to my unwavering presence in your life. Feel my comforting embrace enveloping you, my beloved one. I am by your side, shielding you from all harm like a pristine mantle of white. Doubts, criticisms, and malicious comments will fade into oblivion as I restore your very being. I am uprooting the curses that have plagued you, replacing them with a crown of victory upon your brow. This is your moment and I sense the restlessness in your soul, the turmoil in your heart. But fear not, for I grant you my peace today peace that surpasses all understanding, saturating every fiber of your being with tranquility. An opportunity beckons at this very moment, an unexpected door swinging open before you. Seize it with gusto, for I have laid this path before you. Do not falter now, my dear one. You have come too far to be defeated. Regain your strength, summon your courage, and march forward with unwavering determination. In this trial, you shall emerge victorious. Remember, you are never alone. I am with you, guiding you, enriching your life with boundless fulfillment, joy, and abundance. Know this, believe it. My love for you knows no bounds, and I am with you now and forevermore. My cherished child, hear me now as I pour forth my love and blessings upon you like a mighty river flowing endlessly from the depths of my heart. Feel the warmth of my embrace enveloping you, soothing your weary soul and lifting the burdens that weigh heavy upon your shoulders. You are not alone, for I am here, ever present and steadfast in my devotion to you. In this tumultuous journey called life, I am your unwavering beacon of hope guiding you through the darkness and illuminating the path before you with the radiant light of my love. Trust in me, dear one, for I am the rock upon which you may safely anchor your faith and find solace in times of uncertainty. As you navigate the twists and turns of fate, know that my love for you knows no bounds. It is a boundless ocean, vast and deep, 
teeming with endless possibilities and untold treasures waiting to be discovered. Allow yourself to be swept away by the currents of my grace, for in my arms you will find refuge from the storms that rage around you. Do not let fear or doubt cloud your vision, for I am the steady hand that guides you through the tempest. With unwavering faith and courage, you shall overcome every obstacle and emerge victorious on the other side. Trust in the power of my love to see you through, for it is a force beyond measure, capable of moving mountains and parting seas. So, my beloved child, stand tall and walk with confidence, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. Let my love be your guiding light, illuminating the path to a future filled with boundless joy, abundant blessings and unending prosperity. For in my love, you will find the strength to rise above adversity and soar to new heights of greatness. My beloved child, listen closely to the words that flow from the depths of my heart to yours. I want you to grasp the magnitude of my love for you, to feel its power coursing through every fiber of your being, like a mighty river of endless grace and compassion. From the moment of your inception, you were etched into the very fabric of my divine plan, crafted with meticulous care and boundless affection. Even before you took your first breath, I had already envisioned the extraordinary journey that lay ahead for you. A journey filled with purpose, meaning, and boundless potential. As you emerged into this world, I cradled you in the palm of my hand, guiding your steps with tender devotion and unwavering love. Every joyous moment, every tear shed in sorrow I was there, intimately acquainted with the intricacies of your heart, your soul laid bare before me. And in the fullness of time, I sent forth my beloved Son, Jesus Christ, as the ultimate expression of my love for you. Through his sacrifice, he bore the weight of your sins, your pain, your suffering, so that you might experience the boundless joy of redemption and eternal life. Never doubt your worth, my precious child, for you are the crown jewel of my creation, a radiant beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness. Dismiss the voices of doubt and despair, but seek to diminish your spirit, for they are but whispers in the wind, compared to the resounding chorus of my love for you. Know this, my child, I am with you always, a steadfast presence in the midst of life's trials and tribulations. In moments of solitude and despair, when the world seems to conspire against you, I am there holding you close, guiding you along the path of righteousness and truth. There is nothing in this world that can separate you from my love, my child. Not your past mistakes, nor your present struggles, nor the uncertainties that loom on the horizon. My love for you is unyielding, unwavering, eternal and unbreakable bond that transcends time and space. So, my beloved child, take heart and hold fast to the truth of my love for you. Let it be the anchor that steadies your soul in the midst of life's storms the beacon that guides you through the darkness, and the wellspring of hope that sustains you on your journey toward eternity. For in my love, you will find strength, courage, and unfathomable grace to overcome every obstacle and emerge victorious now and forevermore. My beloved child, come close and let the warmth of my love envelop you like a soft, comforting embrace. Feel the gentle whisper of my presence, soothing your soul easing the burdens that weigh heavy on your heart. In the vast expanse of the universe, amidst the chaos and clamor of life, know that you are cherished beyond measure, treasured beyond compare. From the very dawn of creation, I envisioned you, dreamed of you, crafted you with tender care and unwavering affection. Each fiber of your being, every intricate detail, reflects the beauty of my handiwork, the depth of my love, before you even took your first breath, I set in motion a divine plan for your life. A plan brimming with purpose, overflowing with promise. As you navigate the twists and turns of your journey, remember that I am with you, ever present, ever faithful. In moments of triumph, I rejoice with you, my heart swelling with pride. In moments of despair, I hold you close, my arms a sanctuary of solace and strength. Through every joy and every trial, I walk beside you, my love a steadfast anchor 
in the ebb and flow of life's tides. In the midst of life's storms, when the winds howl and the waves crash against your fragile vessel, take refuge in the shelter of my embrace. For I am the calm in the chaos, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Trust in me, dear child, and I will guide you through the darkest valleys, leading you to green pastures and still waters. Know that my love for you knows no bounds, transcending time and space, reaching beyond the farthest reaches of the cosmos. It is a love that endures through every trial, every tribulation, a love that remains steadfast and true. So fear not, my child, for you are never alone. I am with you always, a beacon of hope in a world shrouded in darkness. Today, as you stand on the threshold of a new day, know that I am here, ready to shower you with blessings beyond measure. Open your heart to receive my abundant grace, my boundless mercy. For you are my beloved child, my precious creation, and my greatest joy. And in my love, you will find the strength to rise, the courage to soar, and the grace to journey ever onward. The Father says today, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud that you were willing to come out into the deeper things of my spirit. You saw what the world had to offer, and you chose to empty your hands of the vain works of man, and allow me to fill your heart with my all-in-all -all blessing and power. Indeed, as you've given me your all, even so, I am pouring out into your life without measure all that heaven affords. Speak to that outpouring for it will take the shape of your declarative words as you decree the shift and the change, coming into agreement, cooperation, and alignment with what I am willing to do, and what I am doing no matter what man thinks or what their opinions are to the contrary. I remember the day you were born again. I remember when you asked me into your heart, and from the hall of unrealized destinies in the heavens, came a mantle and a word of guidance to lead you inevitably and inexorably into your blessing place of service anointing glory and power in my kingdom. I've watched you grow up over the years, and I'm so proud of the spiritual warrior you've become. You're kind, compassionate, and discerning. You've shown yourself hungry and willing for all I have to lead you in and take you through so that my will might be established. You've made a decision to engage with the initiatives of heaven, and for that reason, I've moved you from the eddies and side currents of my kingdom into the very center of the river of my spirit, that you might partake and move into the wholeness of healing, purpose, and assignment that I've had, planned for you since before the world began. Hear the whisper of my spirit. You have nations in you. You're going to do great things in life. You have the potential to change the world. And I know that you will by the grace of my indwelling spirit. Go out in your day this day as a privileged child of a loving father expecting all the resources of the throne to be available to every occasion of your faith, and you will see the substance of my fullness made manifest in miracles, signs, wonders, and breakthrough beyond your imagining. The Father says today, you are not insignificant. Sometimes you feel small and insignificant, but truly you are not insignificant. I have made you as one with a voice to carry my authority and greatness on the inside of you. When the enemy tries to steal your voice, I am there to protect, defend, and preserve your opportunity to speak and be heard. In the days ahead, I will make your voice even louder. I will cause your voice to be heard and to carry and carry and carry. I am giving you this gift because you know how to speak the truth. I am opening this opportunity and many opportunities to you because you know how to speak love and you know how to speak encouragement. Where some want to speak death and damnation, the Father says. I have made you a voice of encouragement. I want you to be an encourager, and one who brings joy, joy, and more joy to many, by my word that will come forth out of your mouth. I want you to be an ambassador of joy, who will speak life over the lives of those who are broken and out of the way. As you obey me, says the Father, lives will be changed because of you. Do not feel you are doing something small because I have made you big in my kingdom. 
As you obey me, there will be rewards. As you obey me, there are jewels things that are formed by heat and pressure that are waiting for you as a reward. There is a crown of victory and even a purple robe for you to carry, a new mantle for you to carry, a walk in royalty and authority that, even to this day, I have given to you because I know you will obey and speak and be my spokesperson. You have sometimes said, God, I don't mind being behind the scenes. I say to you, because you have had a humble heart, I will put you in the forefront so people can see the love that you carry on the inside of you. You will be a leaker of love. My love will fill you, leak out of you, and get on all of those around you, even those who are difficult to love and show love. So, go out and leak out of my love and rejoice. For this is a chosen path for you to walk in this season, says the Father. The Father says today, My child, my deep is calling to your deep this day. You have asked for a deeper relationship with me, which is available as you press into your quiet times with me. Say to your eyes, be opened, and to your ears, to hear what my voice is saying in the depths of your heart and your spirit man. Your inner man is where I will be found, and where I will be made known, says the Father. Make a choice to get that alone time with me that is necessary. Silence waits for me. My voice is found in you, and identified in the silence between your own thoughts. Sometimes, you will need and desire solitude, like some people desire necessary food. It is in that place I will come to you, and you will sup with me, and I will commune with you, and change will come. You are also coming into a place of intercession, interceding in prayer for others, and that hidden man of the heart, I have formed and fashioned you to be. Intercession for the person that I have called you to be to come into manifestation. As you pray into who I say you are, I will cause that hidden man inside of you to stand up and be made manifest. Then I will take you on from there to greater maturity and a distinct transition to a new maturity in my kingdom. So, this day, take the time and make a concerted effort to return to the quiet place. Open your heart and choose to listen deeply, and it will be my voice and my spirit that you will encounter there as you see my wind of change beginning to blow and bringing you to a whole new arena of experience in my kingdom. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. This could be your bedroom, a park, or even a coffee shop. Set aside some time each day to spend with me, soaking up my presence. Even if it's just 15 minutes, make my presence your priority. Open your heart and mind to the promptings of my spirit in the moment. Read specific verses I lay on your heart slowly and thoughtfully, and pay attention to any verses that stand out to you. Start to journal about what you're reading and how it applies to your life. Pray repeatedly if necessary, like Daniel, and ask me to help you understand what you've read and how to apply it. Listen for my voice speaking in the silence between your thoughts. Pay attention to things around you that are unusual or out of place. Anything that makes you do a double take, pray to interpret. I will reveal my heart to you and show you how to grow in your relationship with me. I will also give you guidance and wisdom for your life. The Father says today, of the increase of my governance in your heart and in your life, there will be no end until you come to your blessing place in full maturity before my throne. This is a season of growing and maturing in your faith, navigating difficult people and situations coming out of timidity, and stepping into radical risk to pursue my values and my purpose for your life. As you know, I am a God of growth, increase, and manifest glory in, on, and around you. My divine, incorruptible seed is on the inside of you, gestating, breaking ground, and producing fruit, for I created all things to grow and multiply, and I desire the same for you. Not all those you have surrounded yourself with are conducive to spiritual growth. Love them, bless them, but make it a specific choice to hold your time valuable and your spiritual environment sacrosanct. Surround yourself with anointed leadership. Go out and find someone walking in a level of anointing glory and breakthrough that you don't have. Get in their life and sit at their feet. What their actions, listen to their words. 
align yourself with them and invest your time, energy and resources to gain access. For with access comes the elements of influence that will, in time, bring you to a total breakthrough. Don't expect it to be easy. When you are around people who are walking in the truth and living a life of obedience to God, you will be challenged and encouraged to grow in your own walk. How many hours are you willing to sacrifice? How many miles are you willing to drive? What are the things, people, and situations in your own life you are willing to sacrifice and step away from to find the secret place where my wisdom and anointing saturate you and change you from the inside out? Spend time in my word. It is full of wisdom and truth that can help you grow in your knowledge of the holy and knowledge of my ways. As you study my word, be sure to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand what you are reading and apply it to your life. Finally, you can grow in your faith by serving others. What you make happen for others, I will make happen for you. I've told you and told you and told you. And now is your moment to step into the role of service and giving that will defeat all the doubts and harassment the enemy piled on you when you were wallowing in self-pity. Give me what you have, your gifts, talents, and abilities. Be like the little boy who gave me his lunch, and I fed thousands. Are you ready to participate in that dynamic? When you use your gifts and talents to serve others, you demonstrate your love for God and His people. Serving others is also a great way to grow your humility and learn more about God's love for you. As you grow and mature in your faith, I want you to also take leadership over those around you in need. Many people in the world are lost and hurting, and they need your help. Be a light to the world and share my love with everyone you meet. Pray for your friends, family, and neighbors. Ask God to bless them and help them in their time of need. The Father says today, I am not upset with you, and I am not punishing you. Sometimes, in the midst of delays and challenges, it can be easy to believe that I have abandoned us or that I am not interested in our prayers. But I want to remind you that I am always with you, never leaving or forsaking you. You've wondered how long things will continue and held me responsible. But I have no plan to keep you in a difficult place or a wilderness experience any longer than necessary. Are you ready to step out and put your trust in me? If you do, I will take control and guide your life. It's important to remember that you are defined by what and who I say you are, not by your past or what others may say about you. You are not defined by your mistakes or the negative opinions of others. Listen to my voice and repent quickly when you are found in the wrong. As you step out in obedience and move forward, doing what I instruct, you will begin to see the things you have longed for become a reality. I have a plan for your life a life worth living that I have specifically chosen for you. And it's not just a partial package, but a complete and abundant one. Be assured that I will not play games with you, dangling potential blessings in front of you, only to withhold them. Instead, I set a table of blessings before you, a feast just waiting for you to partake in. However, there are three things you must do daily. Seek to understand what these things are. Observe and do what I am doing, and let go of any preconceived opinions about the consequences. Obedience and faithfulness will lead to fulfilling my promises in your life. Above all, know that he loves you deeply, and I desire to bless you. My love for you is unconditional, regardless of your mistakes. I long to forgive you and offer you a fresh start. My plan is good and filled with purpose, and I will always be by your side even during the toughest times. Place your trust in me, take the risk you've been avoiding, and step out in faith. Embrace my plan for your life, knowing that he wants to bless you abundantly, even though you don't have all the details. Let go of any guilt or fear. Instead, hold on to my love and faithfulness. I am waiting for you to take that leap of faith and experience my goodness in a profound way. The Father says today, Refuse to be distracted or diverted from the assignment I have called you to. The enemy knows he is defeated, and he will use every trick in his book to try to derail you. But do not be afraid. I am with you always, and I will help you to overcome every obstacle. 
The enemy will try to confuse you with lies and delusions. He will try to distract you with shiny objects and empty promises. He will try to get you focused on things that do not matter. But do not listen to him. Keep your eyes on me and keep your focus on the task at hand. I have called you to be a truth teller and to be bold in your obedience. Do not be afraid to speak out against injustice and wrongdoing. Do not be afraid to stand up for what is right, even when it is unpopular. There is honor at the end of the journey. You will come to an expected end result. What happens to you next is not determined by men or the opinions of men. It is determined by me. So keep moving forward. Refuse to look back. Keep your eyes on me and trust that I am leading you in the right direction. I will not fail you. The enemy wants to cause concern in your life, to cause you to look away from your purpose. But don't let him. Keep your focus on who I am and what I have called you to do. Keep ever before you that the enemy's strategies are lies, delusions, smoke and mirror deceptions. But remember, he is defeated. His lies have no power over you. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. You are called to be a truth teller without intimidation or hesitation. Be bold to speak out and obey the Spirit's leading, even when it's difficult, knowing and trusting that there is honor at the end of the journey. So don't give up. Keep moving forward, even when things are tough. Remember, you are not alone. I am with you every step of the way. The Father says today, never step out of love. Make it your determination to live the love life in every situation circumstance and interaction. Why? Because you won't get disappointed, hurt or mistreated. Those things happen because you live among a fallen race, in a fallen environment, where sin mars everything outside of Christ. I see that, and the scars and wounds, even the open wounds you carry. You are also coming into a place of intercession, interceding in prayer for others and that hidden man of the heart. I have formed and fashioned you to be intercession for the person that I have called you to be, to come into manifestation. As you pray into who I say you are, I will cause that hidden man inside of you to stand up and be made manifest. Then I will take you on from there to greater maturity and a distinct transition to a new maturity in my kingdom. So this day, take the time and make a concerted effort to return to the quiet place. Open your heart and choose to listen deeply and it will be my voice and my spirit that you will encounter there as you see my wind of change beginning to blow and bringing you to a whole new arena of experience in my kingdom. Find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. This could be your bedroom, a park or even a coffee shop. Set aside some time each day to spend with me, soaking up my presence. Even if it's just 15 minutes, make my presence your priority. Open your heart and mind to the promptings of my spirit in the moment. Read specific verses I lay on your heart slowly and thoughtfully and pay attention to any verses that stand out to you. Start to journal about what you're reading and how it applies to your life. Pray repeatedly if necessary, like Daniel, and ask me to help you understand what you've read and how to apply it. Listen for my voice speaking in the silence between your thoughts. Pay attention to things around you that are unusual or out of place. Anything that makes you do a double take, pray to interpret. I will reveal my heart to you and show you how to grow in your relationship with me. I will also give you guidance and wisdom for your life. The Father says today, of the increase of my governance in your heart and in your life, there will be no end until you come to your blessing place in full maturity before my throne. This is a season of growing and maturing in your faith, navigating difficult people and situations coming out of timidity and stepping into radical risk to pursue my values and my purpose for your life. As you know, I am a God of growth, increase and manifest glory on and around you. My divine incorruptible seed is on the inside of you, gestating, breaking ground and producing fruit for I created all things to grow and multiply, and I desire the same for you. Not all those you have surrounded yourself with are conducive to spiritual growth. Love them, bless them, 
but make it a specific choice to hold your time valuable and your spiritual environment sacrosanct. Surround yourself with anointed leadership. Go out and find someone walking in a level of anointing glory and breakthrough that you don't have. Get in their life and sit at their feet. What their actions, listen to their words, align yourself with them and invest your time, energy and resources to gain access. For with access comes the elements of influence that will, in time, bring you to a total breakthrough. Don't expect it to be easy. When you are around people who are walking in the truth and living a life of obedience to God, you will be challenged and encouraged to grow in your own walk. How many hours are you willing to sacrifice? How many miles are you willing to drive? What are the things, people, and situations in your own life you are willing to sacrifice and step away from to find the secret place where my wisdom and anointing saturate you and change you from the inside out? Spend time in my word. It is full of wisdom and truth that can help you grow in your knowledge of the holy and knowledge of my ways. As you study my word, be sure to pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand what you are reading and apply it to your life. Finally, you can grow in your faith by serving others. What you make happen for others, I will make happen for you. I've told you and told you and told you. And now is your moment to step into the role of service and giving that will defeat all the doubts and harassment the enemy piled on you when you were wallowing in self-pity. Give me what you have, your gifts, talents and abilities. Be like the little boy who gave me his lunch and I fed thousands. Are you ready to participate in that dynamic? When you use your gifts and talents to serve others, you demonstrate your love for God and his people. Serving others is also a great way to grow your humility and learn more about God's love for you. As you grow and mature in your faith, I want you to also take leadership over those around you in need. Many people in the world are lost and hurting and they need your help. Be a light to the world and share my love with everyone you meet. Pray for your friends, family and neighbors. Ask God to bless them and help them in their time of need. My cherished child, as your eternal shepherd, I have woven days of unparalleled blessing into the fabric of your existence. In the moments when you kneel in prayer, the seeds of your unwavering faith and relentless determination flourish, promising to bear fruit that will drench your soul in tears of happiness and echo through the corridors of time with laughter of joy. Yet, on this sacred journey, you must anchor your heart in the belief that no challenge is insurmountable. Stand firm with a resolve that is steadfast and unshakable, commanding mountains to move, knowing that the celestial realm shall align, unleashing a downpour of divine provision that will satiate your deepest longings and elevate your spirit to new heights. The horizon beckons each day, unfurling like the petals of a new bloom under the golden rays of dawn, whispering the promise of new beginnings, opportunities ripe for the taking, and challenges that will test the metal of your soul. Clad in the armor of faith, march forward, fortified by the Holy Word, with the assurance that I, E, your almighty protector, am ever present. My presence is a beacon in the darkest of nights, a comforting shade in the blaze of noon, a steady hand amidst the fiercest storms, and a gentle caress in the soothing rains. Behold, the days of divine favor are upon you, as declared by your sovereign Lord. To be blessed is to bask in the joy that cascades from the heavens, a divine provision that nourishes your soul and completes your being. It is to stride into every battle armed with the knowledge that victory is assured, for you are a child of the Most High. Blessedness is found in the simplicity of being content with your daily bread, in the quiet trust you place in me, your divine shepherd, who promises to provide not just for your bodily needs, but for the deeper cravings of your soul, the well-being of your family, and the wisdom you seek to. Nurture your spirit. This wisdom enables you to grow and flourish each day under my guidance, and to be a faithful servant living out the commands of my word with joy and dedication. I declare unto you, days rich with blessing are not merely approaching, they are almost upon us. Let your heart echo with belief in this truth, for you are well acquainted with the reality 
that the word of your omnipotent Father never falls to the ground unfulfilled. Approach me with all your burdens. Let not the weight of these concerns rest upon your shoulders alone. The moment for your peace and rejuvenation has arrived. You expend your energies caring for others, draining yourself. But today, I have drawn near to uplift you, to cradle you in my arms, to offer you solace, and to envelop you in the boundless expanse of my love. Do not forget to cherish your own being as well. It is imperative that you dedicate time to seek me through prayer, to attune your ears to my voice, and to absorb my divine insights. Heed my word and my promises, for I have devised a plan destined to revolutionize your life and that of your families. It is not my desire for you to tread further along a path marked by a wearied soul, a troubled heart, and an encumbered mind. You are not created to endure a lifetime of incessant needs and conflicts. I have liberated and saved you so that you may forever stand tall, free from the shackles of defeat or humiliation at the hands of your adversaries. Into you I have breathed an immeasurable worth and dignity. This is my solemn promise to you. Now I urge you to embrace my truth with open arms. I am setting before you numerous pathways to embark upon a new journey, leaving the shadows of past errors far behind. Concentrate on your loved ones, on prayer, and on stewarding the abundant blessings that are poised to flood into your life. Imagine awakening each day, liberated from the grips of fear or anxiety, your heart brimming with bravery and joy. Initiate this transformation today. Lift your voice in gratitude and proclaim with unwavering faith. Thank you, my God, for gifting me yet another day of life. Feel the divine strength that encases you from head to toe. Observe as your thoughts and emotions find equilibrium and my words firmly implant within your consciousness. You will retain all that I have imparted to you and it will arm you to face the challenges that today may bring. Recognize and embrace my love for you. Accept my peace. Navigate your life with a resolute heart and find solace in my support. Let not the sorrowful whispers of your pillow at night convince you that love has forsaken you. Dismiss such thoughts, for right at this moment, you are enveloped in the tenderness of my divine embrace. The agony you endure is not a marker of your demise, nor a testament to failure. Surrender to me your pain and find solace in my presence. Should tears wish to flow, let them cascade freely. I long to share in every tear, to be with you in your moments of sorrow, standing by your side. I empathize deeply with your suffering, and it grieves me too. Yet know this, we are united in this trial, and as the dawn breaks with the sun of faith, illuminating your morning, the warmth of my love, your heavenly Father's love, will still be right there beside you. I am here to offer comfort, to imbue you with strength, and to reaffirm how immensely precious you are to me. Ask yourself, what force on earth or in the heavens can ever detach you from my embrace? Let this truth sink into the very core of your being. No anguish, no persecution, doubts, nor trials have the power to sever you from my steadfast, eternal, boundless, and sincere love. I impart this to you so that you might always bear in mind that regardless of your shortcomings and errors, my love for you stands unshakable. I do not falter, I do not deceive, nor do I embellish. If I have professed my love for you a million times over, it is because my love for you is beyond measure, beyond time, infinitely vast and unfailing. Remember, my child, as it is written in Romans 8, 38-39, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let this be a testament to the enduring nature of my love for you, a love that transcends all barriers, a beacon of hope, and a source of strength, no matter the circumstances, the moment has arrived for you to fully embrace the depths of my love, discarding every ounce of doubt that shadows your heart. Let your faith be unyielding, akin to a sturdy sailboat that bravely traverses through stormy seas and fierce winds. 
You are destined neither to sink, nor to be lost in the abyss, nor to stumble in your journey. Trust in my words, grasp the magnitude of this truth. It is time to stand firm in faith, to rise from despair, to walk in unwavering confidence. My hand has showered numerous blessings upon you, each a testament to my unfailing providence. Offer me your heart with the utmost trust and never allow your faith to be shaken. I assure you, I will never forsake you. Proclaim your belief in me. Experience the warmth of my constant presence. Allow this assurance to guide you, as it is affirmed in Hebrews 13, 5, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Thus, with such a promise, let your heart be fortified. I call upon you to stand strong amidst the tempest, secure in the knowledge that your anchor is cast in the bedrock of my love and faithfulness. Your path is illuminated by the light of my word, a beacon that guides you through the darkest nights and the fiercest storms. Embrace this journey with me, knowing that my love envelops you like a shield, protecting and guiding you towards a destiny filled with hope and abundance. With each step you take, remember, my promises are true, and my love is ceaseless. Let your heart be filled with the peace that comes from knowing you are never alone, for I am with you, guiding your steps, lifting you above the tumult of the waves, and leading you to shores of peace and prosperity. Trust in me with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to me, and I will make your path straight. As proclaimed in Proverbs 3, 5, 6, This is the faith I call you to a faith that sees beyond the visible, that reaches into the very heart of the divine, where my love for you is endless, and my commitment to your well-being is unwavering. I am ever-present, eagerly awaiting your conversations with me. Your mind brims with ambitions and well-laid plans. You embody diligence and responsibility. Harbor no fear, for your path is aligned with triumph in and trust in me, without reservation. Seek my presence daily and attentively. Embrace the wisdom my words impart. My desire is for you to tread confidently, to anchor your dreams in the unshakable foundation of the rock, and to lay down the roots of your family's future in alignment with my will and guidance. I am certain you grasp the essence of my message. My request is simple. Direct your focus towards what truly matters, ensuring your precious time and energies are not wasted on ephemeral pursuits and trivial distractions. Your relationship with me is paramount. Let us remain inseparably connected. I await those quiet moments of your attentive listening, for it is in those silences that our deepest exchanges unfold. Your growth and fortification fill me with immense joy, especially as I observe the dreams you chase and the dedication you pour into them. My intent is to shower you with blessings so profound that doubt finds no foothold. For you have been precisely placed in this moment, perfectly prepared for the openings I am about to reveal to you. Proceed. Approach each opportunity with courage. A realm of blessings beckons the courageous, the ones who recognize their value, who reject the echoes of negativity and the discourse of failure or surrender. Embrace this journey with the assurance that you are not alone. Each step you take is a step closer to the fruition of your dreams. Under my watchful eye and with my guiding hand, the adversities you encounter are not roadblocks but stepping stones meticulously placed by me to elevate you to greater heights. In the face of difficulty, remember that resilience and faith open the gates to untold blessings. Stand firm in your worth, undeterred by fear or discouragement, for in my promise lies your victory and fulfillment. I have intricately woven you into existence, infused life within your very being, and graced you with a splendid dominion. Yet should you find yourself retreating in hesitation, shackled by doubts of my assurances or swayed by the errant counsel of those who do not know me, we stand at a crossroads for your growth and flourishing. An unwavering faith in me is essential. You must anchor your belief in the truth that I harbor an unfathomable love for you, that my presence is a steadfast reality, and that it is within my greatest desires to nurture and shower blessings upon you. Your existence, your prosperity, 
rests securely within my omnipotent hands. Trust in this without reservation. Affirm your faith in me. Step into the sanctity of my embrace. Allow my touch to mend your heart and pacify your spirit. As dawn breaks, my intention is to erase the remnants of nocturnal sorrows, to infuse your being with a joy that radiates as you venture into the daylight. You have spent countless hours in the silence of the night, wrestling with concerns that stretch beyond your reach. Let me be your ally. Grant me the privilege to fortify our bond, to enrich this divine companionship. While I value your reverence, I yearn for your trust, to see me not only as your God, but also as your confidant. Share with me your burdens. I am ever present to listen. Your confessions are safe with me, shielded from every ear. I promise forgiveness and to hurl your transgressions into the abyss. As I have proclaimed, your previous errors are not for me to brandish. I choose not to dwell on what lies behind us. Thus, I invite you to dedicate moments each day for our dialogue. I will attentively absorb your words, consider your pleas, and commence the orchestration of my responses. Faith is all that is required of you, along with a measure of patience, for the realization of my vows will encounter no delay. The blessings you seek, the answers you yearn for, will assuredly find their way to you in due course. I encourage you to embrace tranquility in this moment, positioning yourself in readiness for the influx of blessings poised on the horizon. Sustenance, serenity, robust health, spiritual wealth, extraordinary prosperity, familial harmony, restoration within your household, forgiveness and tender affection, these await you. As dawn breaks, ushering in the gift of a new day, let your heart swell with appreciation for this blessing this privilege you've been granted. Consider those in the throes of hardship who equally yearn for my intervention. I am appointing you as my emissary to embody my love and disseminate the essence and splendor of my divine scheme. Witness the expansion of your joy and the fortification of your vigor as you cultivate a demeanor of worship and thankfulness. My deepest desire is for your happiness. In this assertion, there is no falsehood. Yet the onus is yours to accord me the reverence I am due in your life, to heed my guidance, and to earnestly seek my presence. It brings me joy to shower you with blessings and envelop you in my love, regardless of the complexities encircling your circumstances. In moments of despair, find solace beneath the shelter of my wings. When anxiety besieges you, find comfort upon my shoulder and unburden your soul. Entrust me with all your fears and apprehensions, for my grace and mercy know no bounds. Let this assurance fill you, my readiness to bestow upon you and your loved ones, a life marked by peace, health, spiritual growth, and abundance is unwavering. Start each day with a heart brimming with gratitude, recognizing the sheer beauty and opportunity each morning brings. Your role as a beacon of my love in the lives of those enduring suffering is critical. Through you, the radiance of my love and the grandeur of my intentions will be manifested. As you embrace a lifestyle of gratitude and praise, you'll find your happiness augmented and your resilience strengthened. Remember, my desire for your joy is unfeigned, rooted in the very essence of my being. However, your fulfillment and the realization of these blessings hinge upon your willingness to prioritize me in your life, to adhere to my teachings, and to pursue me with zeal. I revel in the opportunity to bless and cherish you, even amidst the trials you may face. When the weight of the world feels unbearable, retreat to the refuge provided by my embrace. Share your concerns with me, and let my boundless grace and mercy carry you through. My love for you is profound and unwavering, and it is because of this deep affection that I am committed to supporting you. You are cherished deeply by me, my child, and there should never be any room for doubt regarding this truth. You have opened your heart wide to me, embraced my essence with all your might, and your devotion fills me with immense joy. It is for this very reason that you are entitled to approach me boldly, with confidence, communicating with me openly, with clarity, and devoid of any apprehension. 
understand that you are worthy of guidance and correction when necessary. I have brought you into existence, having chosen you even before you took your first breath in this world. I am intimately familiar with every aspect of your being, your battles, your strengths, your aspirations, and your vulnerabilities. When you falter and fall, know that it does not provoke my wrath. Never hesitate to seek my presence, even when burdened with guilt. Where else shall you turn? To those who profess their regard and affection for you, only to betray my teachings and speak negatively of you behind your back. The sanctuary you yearn for a haven of friendship, understanding, and boundless love can only be found in my presence. I'm here not to judge harshly, but to offer refuge and redemption. In my eyes, you are more than your mistakes. You are a beloved creation deserving of grace and a fresh start. Let my love be the foundation on which you rebuild and renew your spirit. Together, we will navigate the complexities of life, drawing strength from our unbreakable bond. Remember, my arms are always open, ready to offer comfort, guidance, and the unconditional love that you seek. Come to me and let us walk this journey together, enveloped in the light of my love and the promise of a future filled with hope and fulfillment. My pursuit is not to catalogue your errors, for I am already acquainted with each one. It is not my desire to witness your faltering, only to turn away in disdain. Rather, in moments when you find yourself drifting away from my embrace, it is I who venture forth to meet you, to gently guide you back to the sanctuary of peace. Within this haven flows the river of serenity, from which you may quench your thirst with its revitalizing waters. This is the earnest plea I extend to you once more. Never allow the shadow of your most challenging trials to make you forget the depth of my love for you. My affection, coupled with my omnipotence, stands ready to extricate you from the depths of despondency, to infuse your being with a renewed sense of purpose and fulfillment, and to rekindle the bravery and zest for life that seem beyond your grasp. My deepest wish is for you to trust in me, to immerse yourself in the realization that you are profoundly loved and safeguarded. For this is the eternal truth, unchanging across the ages. Let this assurance be your stronghold, reminiscent of the promises found within the scriptures, such as Isaiah 43, 2, which proclaims, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, when when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you, this passage is a testament to the steadfast nature of my love and protection over your life. My presence is a constant, unwavering force designed to guide you through every trial and tribulation, offering a wellspring of hope and renewal when despair seems to have the upper hand. Embrace this truth with all your heart, knowing that my love is a beacon that shines brightly, guiding you back to me time and time again. In me, you will find the solace and strength necessary to face whatever lies ahead. Assured of my eternal love and commitment to your well-being, I want to assure you of my everlasting love, a love that seeks your highest good now and forevermore. Rest assured, I am vigilantly overseeing the well-being of your family. Continue to lift them up in prayer, for they rest securely within my providential care. Your prayers serve as a powerful conduit through which I am actively intervening in their lives, addressing even those concerns that remain invisible to your eyes. Do not halt your supplications. Their need for your spiritual intercession is profound. Know that I accompany each of them as they step out from the safety of your home, safeguarding them from harm and enveloping them in my protection. Embrace tranquility, my dear child, for I am orchestrating the unity and peace of your household. The distress and sorrow that weigh upon you are on the verge of transformation. Together, you and your family will experience a deepening bond. I am in the process of distancing those who sow discord and ill will from your midst. However, it is imperative that you extend forgiveness and show compassion towards each of them. Refrain from engaging with their antagonism and you will witness a cessation of their disruptive actions. Let this assurance inspire you. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Matthew 5, 9 As you embody peace and forgiveness, you become a reflection of my kingdom on earth. 
influencing not only your family, but also those around you. Your restraint and love in the face of provocation are powerful testimonies of your faith and trust in my will. Therefore, persist in prayer, remain steadfast in love, and continue to foster forgiveness. In doing so, you align with my purposes, becoming a vessel through which my grace and healing can flow into the lives of your loved ones and even your adversaries. The unity and harmony you long for within your home are being woven together by my hand. Stand firm in this faith and prepare to witness the beautiful unfolding of my plan for you and your family. You were brought into existence with a divine purpose to embody and disseminate my love, to be a beacon of my kindness and illumination in the world. It is through the living testimony of your life that many within your circle, especially your family, will undergo transformation. They will observe the serenity and profound change in you and start to question the source of your peace and newfound demeanor. It is in these moments of curiosity and wonder that you must attribute the transformation to your faith in me, asserting that just as I have reshaped your life, I hold the capacity to transform the lives of each member of your family as well. Continue to intercede for them in prayer, my beloved child. While it may seem beyond your ability to alter certain circumstances or to be perpetually by their side, remember, my reach knows no bounds. I will intervene on your behalf and theirs because of my boundless love for every soul upon this earth. Your role in this divine partnership is simple yet profound. Commit to prayer, relinquish all forms of resentment, malicious talk, envy and bitterness. Place your unwavering trust in me, live with the assurance that I oversee all and that my timing is impeccable. Surrender your worries to me and you shall witness remarkable transformations in your surroundings. If doubts ever cloud your mind about my ability to reach someone within your home, cling to faith, for my power knows no limits. I'm capable of altering mindsets, reshaping character, and softening hearts. Be patient, for soon you will bear witness to the evidence of my transformative power. Remember with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Let this assurance fortify your faith and guide your actions as you walk in obedience and submission to my will. You pave the way for miracles to unfold, not only in your life, but in the lives of those around you. Stand firm in this belief and ready your heart for the wondrous works I am about to perform in your midst. Brace yourself for what I am about to unveil will surpass your wildest expectations. I want you to know that my presence will surround you both by day and by night guiding the unfolding of events in alignment with my celestial scheme. Turn to the scriptures and commune with me in heartfelt prayer, for it is through these sacred texts that I will affirm the veracity of my promises to you. Though heaven and earth may vanish, my words will stand unalterable and eternal. I will navigate you, leading you directly to the juncture of your breakthrough, to the very spot where you will thrive unboundedly. Anticipate a profound metamorphosis within your life as my plans for you come to fruition. Embrace the gift I am extending to you. You are on the verge of entering a realm that marks the beginning of all your dreams and ambitions. In this new phase, you will cross paths with souls whose journeys mirror your own, whose thoughts resonate with the echoes of your aspirations. Together, you will craft a tapestry of blessings and wonders. For the scope of what I have in store for you, is beyond your wildest imaginations. Approach every individual with kindness and empathy, for you are destined to meet people of virtue and extraordinary character. Souls who will captivate and inspire you, help will arrive from quarters you least expect. Remain vigilant with your senses, finely tuned so that when the moment arrives and the door to new possibilities opens wide, you will not be ensnared in trivial pursuits or meaningless distractions. Further explanations are unnecessary. My message to you is unambiguous and its truth resonates within you. You know with certainty that I will direct your footsteps and remain by your side through every season of life. Place your trust in me, for my love for you is boundless. Today, I aim to show you the depth of your significance to me. I am the guardian of your heart 
the provider of tranquility to your mind and the purifier of your thoughts. In moments of upheaval, know that I am steadfastly by your side. Believe in the assurance I bring, this message is a treasure meant just for you. Every blessing you receive flows from my grace and with me is your constant companion. Each new day unfolds as an opportunity for unexpected joys and divine interventions. I am here to empower you, to be your beacon of hope in the darkest nights and through the most challenging trials. My love for you is the foundation of my commitment to alleviate your worries. It is out of this profound love that I assure you of my forgiveness. Should there have been moments when you felt distant or if doubts about my presence clouded your heart, know that I forgive your hesitation and every misstep along the way. My ultimate wish is to breathe new life into your being, to catalyze a transformation within you that enables you to walk in step with me, fully embracing the life I have envisioned for you. I admire your dedication to those you hold dear, yet I urge you to lift them up in your prayers as well. Rest assured, I extend my vigilant watch over you and your loved ones at all times. Through every journey you undertake, under the brilliance of day and through the shadows of night, across paths blessed and even those misguided, continue to pray. Maintain your trust in me and let not anxiety overwhelm you. I pledge to safeguard them, harboring the same desire to welcome them back into my embrace, should they stray in search of new horizons. Have you forgotten, or perhaps it momentarily escaped your memory, the reason behind my sacrifice, enduring the agony of the cross? It was to envelop you and your loved ones in my boundless mercy. My desire is for you to approach my throne with confidence at any time. The gateway is perpetually open. My ear is inclined towards you, and my promises stand ready to manifest in your life, nurturing your faith and yielding a harvest that paves the way to a more fulfilling existence. Let me affirm once again, for the sake of absolute clarity, that your unwavering faith and trust in me are what I seek. There's no need for prolonged contemplation. Should you face any challenge, simply come before me and trust me with your concerns, and that is sufficient. I will heed your call, and my word, alive and powerful, will manifest its truth in your life. This same word that you engage with daily through reading, listening and earnest reflection carries beautiful promises that echo in your thoughts amidst trials. When you feel assailed, wounded or diminished by the words or actions of others, remember my commitment to never leave you forsaken. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I want you to know, without a shadow of a doubt, that your life and the lives of your family are securely held within my hands. No one can remove you from my care. My love's magnitude has been revealed through countless gestures, and the time for doubt has passed. You and your family hold immeasurable value in my eyes. Do not lose heart or refrain from praying. This message comes in response to your plea for a sign, and here it stands. Should you require further assurance, know that I am ever willing to communicate with you. Awaken your senses, ready your heart, for I find joy in speaking with you and yearn to reveal the depths of my love continually. I am ever attentive to your voice, never growing weary of hearing your petitions. Yet, I urge you to persist in prayer. Do not regard it as a fruitless endeavor. Exercise patience and allow me the grace to work intricately in your life. I promise to deliver beyond your expectations when the moment for my answer arrives. Do not lose heart in your period of waiting. Engage in introspection. Consider how you have cultivated and fortified your faith. It has grown more resilient and unwavering. You find yourself less daunted by challenges and less consumed by fear. In the face of conflict, you are walking my path. And this is commendable. In those trying times when you felt adrift, you did not veer off course or wander down convoluted and hazardous byways. Rather, you clung steadfastly to my love, and this brings me immense joy. Take comfort in the assurance that I am always attuned to your prayers, committed to answering them. Your journey of faith demonstrates a remarkable transformation. You've learned to stand firm, drawing closer to me with each step. 
This steadfastness is a testament to the strength of our bond, a bond that will never be broken. I celebrate your devotion and the progress you've made on this spiritual voyage. Your trust in me, even amidst uncertainty, is a profound act of worship that does not go unnoticed.